So the different zodiac signs are actually the different like lobes of the brain and what happens within each lobe of the brain. So like the central succulus is going to be Aries. And then there's the frontal one. I think it's the longitude lobe. Am I, if I'm saying that right, I'm sorry. I don't have my notes out right now. I'm just thinking out loud at the moment. <laughs> um. Anyway, but that's Taurus energy. And then when you have the latitude and the fissures together, you get Gemini. But you also get this energy. And here is your interior gray horn. Your central succulus, that energy is going to go straight down to the central nucleus. But the Gemini energy, that's going to be the interior gray horn energy. Also the epiglottis. Also the trigeminal gland. Gland. I'm sorry. Nerve. Excuse me. Trigeminal nerve. That's what I am. That's my presence. Like, as a greater being in the whole unit. In uh, the oneness of the consciousness. I help the whole world see things differently. Every time I have a revelation, I make every part of me and all of my houses connected to me. All of my chakras, which, and that's how it's all connected. There's the string theory. Because... If someone's moon energy, they experience something, it goes into them and then it reflects that through the whole world. And every person with that energy has to experience that in some form, wherever that energy is placed within their house. And there is like the fixed stars. Those are our challenges. Like... Medusa's in there. I think it's like Aldebaran or something like that. <laughs> or Aguilara or something like that. Is the sign of Medusa. It's the challenge. Where a woman is raped. And then everybody that has to place judgment on that situation. You are judged. God judges you for that judgment. Um, The person that it happened to. The person that it. Um, that took action upon it. All that matters. But it all comes out in the string theory.